Today we dig a little bit deeper into Psalm 119 in verse 66 as the a prayer of a believer for discernment and knowledge. In verse 66 reads, Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe. What is really discernible is that the instructions of God contained in his word have value beyond measure. The psalmist is appealing to God's mercy, as he did in verse 63 and 64 of this same psalm. I am the companion of all of them that fear thee, and of them that keep thy precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of mercy. Teach me thy statutes. Once again, the psalmist again pleads for instruction in the good judgment and knowledge of the Lord. And by the way, our Lord is always ready to confer good judgment that will meet our needs and perhaps most of our desires. The psalmist believes that his heart is right and therefore seeks to have a mind that is aligned with God's will. He is convinced in his heart that the words penned on the scrolls and later translated to our Bibles are the words and the will of our Creator and that the precepts contained therein came directly from the Lord. The Christian who has that kind of faith and maturity in the Word in the Lord is a valuable member of the church and may be used as a teacher to instruct others in their spiritual growth. The saint of God who is committed to the word will find much beauty and pleasure emulating from the word of God. Here is the promise in the word from James 1.5. He says, Now if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God and give to all generously, who gives to all generously and without criticizing, and it will be given to him. The wise countenance will naturally affect others who similarly believe and have applied their faith to their lives, since it is only the spiritual man who is able to discern the things of God. At the instant of rebirth, we are all given his Holy Spirit and a complete change in the characteristics of our old nature. God's word says in 2 Corinthians 5:17, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. Old things have passed away and look, new things have come and yet the mind still contains traces of our old inherited nature which requires the spirit's work in god's renewal plan changing the way we think thus bringing our minds into agreement with the new nature romans 12 1 and 2 reads therefore i urge you brethren by the mercies of god to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice acceptable to god which is your spiritual service of worship and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what the will of God is and that which is good and acceptable and perfect. This is a lifelong process because of the ingrained old habits from our old nature. Change comes slowly. For this renewal to happen, we must have a faith in the accuracy of God's word as well as the promises contained therein. We must believe that God's Spirit has fully communicated God's legislative will on the governance of his church. Therefore, we are bound to obey by faith in his commandments, and willful obedience is just as necessary as faith in his promises. We must also keep in mind that consciously violating God's commandments carries with it the wrath of God. Christ stands before the Father, always working mediation on our behalf, if we have truly accepted his sacrifice on our behalf.